evening. Tonight, for the first time in nearly 50 years, the IU Hoosiers are going to play in Fort Wayne. News Channel 15 Sports Director Glenn Marini is live at Memorial Coliseum, where tonight's sold out game will tip off at 9 o'clock. Glenn? Yeah, guys, when you take a look at the history of the Coliseum, perhaps no place in Fort Wayne can match it when it comes to what has happened basketball wise here in the Summit City. Kind of eerily quiet right here. As we lead up to the nine o'clock tip, uh, but when you take a look at the history of the Coliseum, you're talking about it used to be the home of the Zoner Pistons. It hosted the NBA All Star Game back in 1953, and the Pacers have played here multiple times. Attendance-wise, however, those events will pale in comparison to what we'll see at the Coliseum tonight as IU battles the Fort Wayne Mastodons. It's a sellout. 13,000 fans expected to watch this first IU game in the Summit City since 1967. The Hoosiers coming in as the heavy favorite. They've moved up to number three in the Associated Press poll this week. And as far as head coach Tom Crean goes, tonight will be an opportunity for him and his team to see just how far the support for IU basketball goes here in the state of Indiana. It is a real honor to be up in Fort Wayne. I mean, they're just, it, it's something that it's been on the docket now for a little while. We don't get to do this very much at all when it comes to traveling in the state outside of what we have contracted with the, with the Crossroads Classic or outside of what we have with, um, you know, obviously Purdue in the Big Ten. So to be able to come into Fort Wayne, to be able to bring James Blackman back, but to be able to have so many Indiana Hoosier Nation fans get a chance to see their team in this town, that's a huge deal for all of us. And coming up tonight at 6, we'll have an exclusive behind-the-scenes look as we mic up IPFW head coach John Kaufman and see just exactly in practice how the Mastodons prepared to take on the Hoosiers tonight. We're also going to hear from Fort Wayne native James Blackman Jr. on what it means to play here in the Summit City. But, of course, as we mentioned, thousands upon thousands of fans are expected tonight here at the Coliseum, some congregating already outside the Coliseum, and Angelica Robinson joins us now with that story. Angelica. Thanks, Glenn. I am outside in the parking lot right now. It's empty now, but we're expecting that it is going to be packed in a couple of hours. At about 7.30, the doors open to the arena, and 9 o'clock, the game starts off. So what, we're, what we know is that this is supposed to be the most highly attended basketball game since the Coliseum has been open. So they're expecting a huge crowd. They're already expecting for a lot of traffic, especially between 7 and 9 p.m. tonight. So officials are encouraging encouraging fans to get here early. Now, keep in mind, everyone is going to have to go through security checks when they get into the arena. So they're saying, make sure if you don't have to, don't bring any purses or backpacks or large bags. And also, no guns are allowed in the, in the Coliseum. So we are going to be out here. We're going to keep you up to date as everyone starts arriving and the tailgate uh, starts going. And so, keep, again, tip-off is at 9 o'clock tonight. And so if you can't uh, make it to the game, then you can see it on the Big Ten Network. For now, reporting live at the Coliseum, Angelica Robinson, News Channel 15.